Hello and welcome. Today I'll be going over the newest Alia patch, 0 0.177 notes. Um, I'm going to be going through this kind of uh, just like I've done for previous patches. I'm a little late to the party though, unfortunately, um, but better late than never, I guess. So here goes. It's bug hunting season. As promised in our last dev update, this patch is dedicated to squashing a whole lot of bugs that have been reported to us by the players. Of course, we just couldn't help ourselves and decide to add in some new features and content we know Pallians all over are sure to enjoy. That includes not one, not two, but three new decor sets. Three, wow, that's a lot actually. Take a look. Several new decor sets, including the steampunk inspired Paltech set. Oh my God. When I saw some of the pictures for this, I was so hyped. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, tons of new found item quests featuring your favorite villagers. Okay. Even more wallpapers and, and the ever coveted pavilion add-on. Woohoo! That I'm really looking forward to. Super excited. Uh, now open a direct route to Bahari Bay from your housing plot. Thank God, because that shit takes forever. I hate running across Kilima to get to Bahari. It's a pain in the ass. So <laughs> thank goodness. Updates to mining nodes, uh, which now behave more like forageables. Interesting. Over 250 bugs have been fixed. Yeah, but have the bugs actually been fixed? And when I say bugs, I mean in-game bugs. I kind of wonder. Um, you know, the ones you capture, because I've seen bugs with those bugs too. <laughs> but you know what? Let's get through the patch and let's just see what they have here. New features and updates just in time for Palia on Steam. Unlock the Paltech set today. I love that they decided to kind of pair this the Steam release with like um the Palia, you know, kind of like steampunk looking set. I really, really love these. Like if we just kind of oh if we kind of zoom in a little bit here, um, especially that ceiling fan. I don't think we have any ceiling fans yet in the game. Now I think about it, not that I can recall, actually. I think pretty much everything that goes on the ceiling is always a chandelier. So seeing a ceiling fan is actually really nice. Uh, I could be wrong, though. It's very it's very possible I'm wrong, but I never even thought of that until like I saw that and I was like, holy crap. Um, the shelves look nice. I like the little lantern here. Uh, the shelving has like a very cool like uh, steampunk look to it. I just absolutely love this so much. And I like this little wall add on that kind of, you know, kind of, I guess is like kind of like a fireplace kind of thing in a way. And then I like the vents on the ground. This is going to be really nice. I have already kind of thought a little bit about where I'm going to place these in my house. But, you know, that's not what this video is about. So I'm going to keep going. But oh, my God, these are so nice. And I like the little fridge here. It looks like. Um, I mean, these are just beautiful. I, I absolutely love these. They killed it with this set, I think. We're going to have to mess with those in game, though. I wonder um, what materials they're going to use for that, though. Uh, that's the only thing. So let me zoom out a little bit. Here we go. 30 items have been added. Paltech icebox, Paltech drink dispenser. Okay, I'm not going to say Paltech after, you know, before everything. So a kettle, range hood, sink, square end table, round end table, coffee table, glove microscope okay the microscope's cool uh desk lamp guy uh gyroscope uh let's see what else lantern desk fan ceiling fan oh the desk fan i didn't see a desk fan oh there it is right here nice nice okay uh is there anything else i miss here oh here we go wall shelf double wall shelf picture frame wall clock Medium pipe, short pipe, medium wall vent, square floor vent, see flange pipe, long pipe, large wall vent, round floor vent, long floor vent. Wow, that's a lot of vents. Um, large floor vent and small wall vent. The recipes for Paltech glove, microscope, and range hood are available for purchase from a certain someone found underground hmm someone interesting the remaining recipes can be unlocked through inspiration furthermore you may also see how tech items be available for direct purchase and rotate in availability these are just the items not recipes oh okay so it looks like you can 
Wait. So it looks like you can keep the recipes, but not the items. I'm a little confused by that. It says, furthermore, you may see Paltech items be available for direct purchase and rotate in availability. Just the items, not recipes. Okay. Oh, I think I know what they mean by that. I think it's, um, like if you go to Ze uh, Zeki's Underground, um, you can purchase items down there. Or if you go to Tish's shop, um, you can purchase items there. That might be what they mean by that. All right. Looking to fancy up your dinner parties. We got you with the gourmet set. Okay. Okay. Nice. So we finally have some, looks like some, uh, cookware, tableware. Uh, oh, I like that there's, um, little, uh, cutting boards and stuff like that. Oh, this is so cute. I absolutely love this. 17 items have been added. Okay. So they're all called gourmet. So the plate, fork, knife, spoon, hand pile, block. Okay. I'm just going to keep going. You can purchase the gourmet dessert plate, gourmet cup, and gourmet knife recipes from Rhett's register at the Ormu Horn, uh, Ormu's Horn Inn. The remaining recipes can be unlocked through inspiration. Interesting. Rummage piles have been added to Bahari Bay. Wow, nice. Ooh, they look like shipwreck uh, things. Ah, man, I kind of wonder. This kind of looks like it would just blend in with the rest of the surroundings. Like, at least the rummage pile um, it is, like, very, like, visually distinct from everything over in Kilima. I'm a little worried that this kind of blends in a little bit, but since you can interact with it, I assume, uh, to pick it up, it, it hopefully it won't be too much of an issue. The flag helps. It definitely helps a little. That's really cute, actually. You can discover items from the new uh, Float Sam decor set. See below. All right. This also includes 13 new found items quests that are exclusive to this area. Featured found item, Hodari's Grill. It works just like the campfire, but looks way spiffier. Nice. Style your housing plot with the nautical-themed Float Sam decor set. Okay. Wow, these are actually really nice. Um, I mean, those of you who know me, uh, I, I'm not really a fan of seashells, but they do look nice as decor items. I like this little hanging towel thing. It's actually really cute. And I like the little um, the little hole here, the little window hole. I forget what they're called, um, but yeah, it's not bad. And I like this little thing down here with like the fishies. It's kind of hard to see against this back skit and the background being all brown, but it's not bad. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. I like the little chandeliers too. It's not bad. 11 items have been added. Okay. Uh, let's see. We've got a large candle, sand art, drift decor. Okay. These items can be obtained from newly added rummage piles only in Bihari Bay. Okay. So you have to get them from the rummage piles. You can't just like, it looks like you can't just craft them. Interesting. Okay. The pavilion is now a, uh, purchasable at city hall. Oh man, I've been waiting so long for this pavilion. It looks so nice. I cannot wait to put this on my plots. Oh my god. Oh, what is this over here? This little uh looks like a little hanging thing here. I don't I'm not sure if this is already in the game. I don't recognize this though, this little uh hanging thing here. But then again, there's a lot of items I haven't crafted yet or like really placed in my uh, home, so um we'll have to see. Give your garden an outdoor area a glow up with this wonderful new building add-on okay several new wallpapers have been added to the game 12 new wallpapers okay i'm not going to read through all of them because it's a long list you can purchase them at tish's store okay let's take a look at them oh i love this one this one right here what is that called mirthful mosaic i think or is it flowering field actually any of these could be there's like one two three four this one looks like a fifth flower one i mean there's a lot of flower pattern ones six i mean there's a lot um i really like this wallpaper because it's just like a stripe and this one looks like it could work with a lot of different designs and furniture i mean these look absolutely gorgeous i'm really loving this darker one though it's beautiful i love it um this one might work well uh in my uh well i'm working on like a little arcade room so this might work well in there who knows See, Luna New Year and Maji Market have come to an end. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun while it lasted. That hot pot uh, thing was fun. Uh, apparently now, let's see, the seeds. See, bok choy seeds, Napa cabbage seeds, soy sauce are now purchasable at Zeki store. Um, we fully intend to have the market return again, even bigger and better with all our learnings. Please look forward to more events for Pallion to enjoy. Okay. 
With the conclusion of Luna New Year, these crops are now accessible alongside other crops with the Zeki store. Please note this has always been the intention to make it available in the general store following the end of Maji Market, but it was reported differently in the previous patch notes. It has since been corrected. We apologize for the misunderstanding. Okay, I'm not sure when that correction happened, but I always thought that it was supposed to be um, available past. I thought, I don't know, I thought they were clear about that, but maybe there was something, maybe they uh, edited it before I even looked at it. I don't remember. We'll have to see. Several dish recipes introduced in Luna New Year are now accessible at Rhett's Food Counter in the Inn. The following six recipes are available. Steamed fish, pan-fried dumplings, spicy crab fried rice. Okay, so these are the things that you could unlock at the market. We've also added two accomplishments for cooking these dishes. Oh, cool. You can now go directly to Bahari Bay from your housing plot. Okay. Oh, did they just carve out a piece of the land? That's nice. I'll have to go check that out. Some folks might have noticed some new map additions we snuck in the last patch. Well, now it's official. This shortcut will allow you to quickly access Bahari Bay free of charge. Nice. Mining nodes will now behave more like forgeable items. Once a node is cleared, it'll remain available for other users and disappear after a set amount of time. Okay, this is huge. This is actually a really... Okay, so I haven't seen it in game yet. Like I haven't gone in game and like tested this out. But just reading this, this is really smart, actually, because one of the biggest issues I had, especially in Bahari Bay, was like being able to mine enough iron because a lot of times um, people would be, you know, mining the nodes and sometimes there'd be a lot of people in the area and I'd be running around and running around and running around and seeing nothing to mine. So um, hopefully this alleviates that issue. Um, I have had the, that problem before, so I'm hoping that this will help. And also, this will be great for um, people who are looking to get um, Allium Ore because then you can get, you know, it looks like you don't have to wait around anymore, really, uh, to, to call out the, the Pallium and be like, hey, you know, come get it or whatever. So I think this is a good solution to that. Um, let, let's keep reading because uh, I'm really curious to see how this works. All right. All players who participate in a mining node will get full loot participation. This behavior is the same as before. After it is looted, players who participated will see a ghost version of the rock, indicating that it is available for others to acquire. Mining nodes that have been mined by other players will show an added glow effect, indicating that it was already mined by other players and will eventually despawn. Nice. Mining nodes that are close to despawning will pulse more rapidly to indicate that the node is close to despawning. All right. Oh, wait, it'll pulse more rapidly. Interesting. But it doesn't tell us exactly how much time you have. It would be nice to know that. This change affects all mining nodes outside of the housing plot. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. We've been seeing how players react to pallium nodes and understand how important it is that people don't feel burdened into playing a specific way. When they say specific way, I'm pretty sure what they're talking about is calling out the nodes, waiting for people to come hit the rock, or just not even calling it out because it doesn't make any sense to wait around for a small, you know, pallium uh, uh, rock. So, I mean, I, I like this already. With these changes, you can call out a node and move on without feeling pressured to wait for other players. Oh, see, they just addressed it right here. This feedback has been very valuable to us, and we hope to continue improving things the way that supports a variety of play styles. This is something I really like, is that when there is a problem, uh, it looks like the team, like the S6 team, attempts to really um, come up with some pretty interesting solutions, things that I didn't really think of myself, but I, I like that they take stuff that's already in the game. They say, okay, this is working, and then they just apply it elsewhere. I think that's actually really smart. I love this. Forgeable items will now also have a despawn glow effect after being foraged on other player screens. Okay, this is also huge because sometimes people will uh, gather certain... I think, like, the heart drop lilies are, are like, one of those... Um, rarer uh, forageable items and people would you know they would call it out and they would wait and then everyone would just quickly grab it once you know once everyone was there it's kind of like um it kind of like how the uh 
the trees are for um like the glow trees or sorry the flow trees oh my god i said glow trees <laughs> um but now it looks like you're actually just going to have that visual indicator so i'm not running towards something to grab it and then it just disappears right before i get there that's good to know it's good to see uh, we've extended the duration flare arrows stay active to support the change in mining nodes i love this too flare or uh flare arrows now last up to three minutes note each player can still only have one active flare arrow at a time okay good yeah i i hated having to call out a flare like like let's say i flare something and then like it's just sitting up in the sky and then like i'll be like oh you know uh it's a green flare or whatever like i'll say green flare like in the chat and then like it dies before like the person gets there and then i have to flare again and then now it's a red flare and then i'm like red flare now like it's annoying so i i like that they changed that that's good uh what i want to know though is once the item uh disappears completely does the flare also disappear i wonder and also, can you flare um, things that are about to like disappear? So like, for example, if you hit the mining nodes and you know, it's been gathered, but it's still up for other people to grab and it's like blinking, you know, or, or uh, pulsing. And let's say it completely disappears. Is the flare going to disappear at the same time? That's something that needs to be uh, figured out here. I don't know if they've done that or if they would even address it, but that's something to kind of think about. The chat box and social panel has been removed from the lobby screen at the start of the game. Yeah, I never understood why that was there. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, I mean, I guess I could just talk to myself like I am now, but you know, that's besides the point. Premium store updates. Five new outfit bundles have been added to the premium store. These are these are actually pretty nice looking. I like I like the uh, strapped bundle. I, I think that's what it's called. I think I saw somewhere that it was called like this something. I, I guess it'll be somewhere in the patch here, but uh, I, I like this a lot. This like witch's hat thing is kind of cool too. It's not bad. Uh, I like the pants. I don't like the color though. So I, I wonder what color combinations are available for that. Um, but these actually look pretty good. Uh, not too bad. Featured outfit, astronomer bundle. Okay. Includes star chart constellation and Draco outfits. Ooh, each outfit comes with a face mask, top and bottom. Uh, equipping the top will have starry themed effects appearing uh, when you idle. Nice. I like the constellations here. That's cute. Uh, I like these two. Oh, this is weird. It looks almost like, um, I guess when you look at it from the top, if you look here and here on these pictures, I guess from the top, it would uh, be, be looking different. But from the side, you only see like these moons. That's interesting. So it looks like the planets are flat, but the moons are like round. That's kind of an interesting, uh, it's an interesting choice there. I wonder what that looks like in game. Like if I were to, to get this. All right. Oh, see, I was right about the witch hat. Cottage witch bundle. Okay. I th timely tailor that's what the other one was um i assume that is probably this one i think if i had to guess could be wrong Ilma cook that's the one with the spoon in the pocket obviously these are nice um let's see the kill cook bundle includes delilah's ranch ashura's inn and Badru's garden outfits interesting Okay, okay. The dev scrubbed over 250 known issues in this patch. Oh my dragon. Listed below are the ones we feel worth celebrating. Okay, well, uh, holy shit. Half the patch is bugs. <laughs> I just looked over at the, um, the scroll bar and I'm like, oh boy. Um, I guess we can read through these. I mean, it might actually be worth it. We've made some fixes so that cross-region traveling should see some improvements. Okay. Last patch, we made sweeping improvements to our accomplishments and achievements. Okay. These should now be working as expected, but if you see continuing issues, please let us know. Silver winging it quest. Zeki has finally realized he's been missing and will appear after activating the flowstone gate, allowing you to progress. Okay. So this bug... I'm already seeing posts indicating that this has not been fixed for some people. 
Um, I've been having some problems with uh, that quest is like the um, the Silverwing quest and the um, just overall Wind Temple stuff. I mean, I can go in there and test it out and see if I can progress, but this is a... Uh, I'm a little concerned this hasn't actually been fixed because I like as soon as I saw a post on uh, Twitter, I was seeing like screenshots of like people saying like, hey, this isn't fixed. So I, I don't know what to think. Uh, maybe I'm thinking about something else, but I really hope that's not what this is. Let's see. Fix an issue where players can get stuck under the terrain in the slide puzzle room in the Temple of the Gales, meaning they could not access the NPCs behind the closed door. They should now be able to progress properly and not fall into the floor. I actually, I don't think I've had this happen to me, but that's kind of funny. We also fixed the lightning in the Temple of the Flames. Sorry, the lighting in the Temple of the Flames on the sliding puzzle. No longer will you need to fumble in the dark for that sweet kitsu. Oh my god. Fix an issue where players were unable to use their equipped tool after talking with any villager. Okay, I have had that problem, actually. It was weird. Fix an issue where the fishing uh, reticle was not showing when fishing. I really hope this is fixed because this seems to be a recurring issue. Um, sometimes it happens in Bahari Bay. Sometimes it happens in my housing plot. Sometimes it happens in Kilima. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen maybe even the... Uh, the footage of me playing, you know, the game and just seeing like the, the reticle missing. So hopefully that's fixed. Players who play on PC should now be able to multi-craft again. This has already been fixed. Um, the last patch they put out had fixed that issue. So I don't, I don't really understand why that's listed here, but I'll take it. Tish has been getting stuck on some players housing plots. We finally managed to convince her to scoot along. Hmm, that's interesting. I haven't had the issue with Tish. I've actually seen this issue with um with uh Haseen actually. Uh I had that. it was really weird. Uh, I think in my last video that I uploaded, I had I I saw Haseen randomly at my plot and he wouldn't talk to me and then when I left and came back, he was gone. So I was like confused, like I don't know, it was weird. Um Let's see. Ani's shimmering jar of flies now has shimmer flies. Rejoice, jar lovers. I noticed that. I noticed that wasn't working. So that's good to see. Uh, I'll have to check uh, my room now. Badru's new loot should now be placeable. Yeah, I always thought it was weird. You couldn't place that. Fix many issues players were experiencing with missing or disappearing decor items. Okay, I've had this issue with the um, hot pot, like the little mini hot pot and the... Uh, like some of the items that I got from the Maji market, like the placeable items were doing that, I noticed, especially if I place them on like the the new window ledge thing. Like because last patch, we got like these new additional things for or different style windows. I forget what they're called, but they, you know, go on like the little hallways. And uh, mine just kept this impairing, so it's interesting. Einar's pebble being a major culprit. Wow, okay. They should now stay on your plot properly. Interesting. Fix the bug where holding an input while starting a cooking minigame would lock the player in the minigame. I have had that problem. I hope that's actually fixed. Let's see. Gameplay. Fix an issue with Azure Chapa clones. Uh, they should now properly disappear when shot with non-dispel arrows. I've seen that bug. Fix an issue where apples were not applying the correct gardening buff. I think I've also seen this buff to, uh, sorry, this, uh, this, uh, bug as well. Chili oil dumplings should no longer require only bok choy. I don't think I've seen that. That's kind of weird. Rummage pot, or maybe I have and didn't notice. Rummage pile items were triggering inspiration and granting recipes when they should not. This has been corrected. What? Fixed an issue where insects were spawning on top of a tree when using a honey lure. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. The dowsing rod should now recognize star quality forageables. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Auto run should now be able to be triggered when playing with a controller. Press in on the right stick to enable. Okay. Uh, the order furniture set should now count towards weekly challenges. Good. Bahari Bay Pond at the Central Stables 
was acting like a river. The river fish could be caught. We successfully reminded the fish that it is a pond and the proper fish should be able to be caught. That's funny. When using a honey lure in the dragon shrine, all of the insects that arrived were getting stuck up on top of a tree. Wait, people were using a honey lure in the dragon shrine? I never thought to do that, actually. Now I think about it. We released them from Maji's grasp. <laughs> Fix an issue where players could not delete items from storage when in an overflow state. That's interesting. Fix an issue where the... Oh, actually, I have had that problem. Now I think about it. I, ha I think I've seen this bug like twice. Fix an issue where the timer for flipping during the cooking minigame was getting stuck for all players if one player excited exited the minigame. Okay, so something about this bug. It, I've had a few times where like I'm cooking by myself and it's already looking like as if I'm pressing and holding the button and it's just spinning and my mouse isn't even like being clicked. Like I don't understand that. <laughs> because <laughs> it's not supposed to move like that circle is not supposed to move unless you're pressing and holding so it, it's kind of silly uh let's see switch uh okay so for the switch players should now be able to cook grilled meat on the campfire hodari rejoices okay uh quest you can now uh you can now place the pie for the hunger planes quest interesting uh let's see social okay fix an issue where accents on letters were being removed from chat fix an issue where you could have removed someone from your plot wait what where once you've removed someone from your plot you cannot give them permissions to come back oh man that's awful housing fix an issue where some wall menus could be unavailable after placing a bay window interesting fix an issue where when using H, menu in housing, and also using a controller, zooming in would result in some wonky camera and controller behavior. Okay, I don't, I don't play on controller, but that's kind of funny. Uh, let's see. Sometimes when selecting door types for a back wall hallway attachment, the doorway would not accurately configure. Uh, I've had that happen to me, actually. There was a noticeable frame rate drop while passing by Zeki's house. We fixed this strange space-time continuum issue. <laughs> That's what the issue was, Zeki's house. Wow. Fix this uh fix wow. The spice rack was clipping inside walls when placed. It should no longer clip. Okay. Uh six style Bahari board did not have collision and now can be run into. Interesting. Fix an issue where the ancient rock garden was difficult to move or pick up in placement mode. Hmm. The log cabin outdoor lamp can now be turned on and off on and off oh i see fix an issue where players couldn't pick up their tent i've had that problem before it's kind of silly fix an issue some players were experiencing where all their fence placement was misaligned oh that's weird game events luna new year exclusive dishes um were apparently loved only by our players but also our vill wait hold on i think i misread that luna new year exclusive dishes were apparently loved not only by our players but also our villagers they were appearing in villager weekly wants but it appears their cravings are now satisfied and they will no longer want them weekly okay the pan fried dumpling recipe is no longer missing 3d models when placed in the pan during cooking okay nice uh, around the world, wheat crops on the Daya far uh, family farm were a bit inconsistent in uh, with collision. We've removed all the collision from the wheat. Run free, little pallions. Oh, my God. Fix an issue where there was missing collision on the left side of the outskirts in Bahari Bay. We chopped down the floating tree east of Hideaway Bluffs. Oh, Hideaway Bluffs. Oh, I think I, I think I know what this is. Okay. We knocked I forgot about that tree. We knocked down the invisible wall at the inn that was preventing villagers from rejoining Ruth behind his counter. Nice. The large purple hook in Kaleri's restricted section lacked collision. It 
should now have ex uh, expected collision. I haven't unlocked Kaleri's restricted section, so I have no idea what they're talking about there. Let's see. Cosmetics. Remove the non-functioning return to wardrobe button that appeared after buying an outfit in the premium store. Fix the issue where the skin tab IU icon appeared low resolution when the player was browsing the skin tab of the character creation menu. Okay, that's a weird bug. Fix an issue when players were pressed... Uh, press escape on the character creation menu prior to selecting a body type they were brought to an error screen that read no matching results try different filters to check out the store <laughs> many instances in the character creation menu were not properly translated they should now be fixed okay the ruffled uh redding goat was missing a choker necklace which should now be back Fix the visual issue where the pet accessory slot remained highlighted when the player was clicking and dragging other accessories. Fix an issue where the character preview was off the screen or completely invisible. Okay, so there's some uh, switch specific bugs down here. Fix an issue where repeating uh, repeatedly the A button when... Wait. Huh? Fix an issue where repeatedly the A button when... Oh, I think they mean repeatedly hitting the A button when entering the premium shop caused the shop menu to become unresponsive to most controls. Fix an issue where premium store did not indicate how to switch between swatches in outfit preview. Oh yeah, that could be problematic. Fix an issue where the character creation screen flashed with other menus for a few seconds. Wow. Fix the bug where after backing out of appearance section, new options could not be highlighted until the selected tab was changed. Okay. Visual audio and menus. Subira was very excited to join Kilima so much so that sometimes when players completed the quest, our order is served. The Subira cinematic was playing in a loop. Oh, wow. I actually haven't seen that. That's kind of weird. Uh, let's see. We resolved the missing visual effects from the mural in the night sky temple. It should now be lovely and glowy as expected. Okay. Fix an issue where the gift hint button was missing its hover text. The compass, the compass's text should now be a little larger and easier to see. Fix an issue where, oh, that's good. Fix an issue where the entering dialogue with an NPC, either the gift or hint or gift hint buttons were grayed out. Yeah. I have, I thought that was intentional. I didn't even realize that was a bug. I thought that, um, that it grayed out if you've already asked them stuff before. I didn't realize that uh that, that was a bug. Interesting. Fix an issue in the relationship panel when hovering, moving the mouse inside level reward icons, duplicate tooltips would appear. Wow, that's weird. Fix let's see the the point of interest icons in the world map should no longer overlap any NPCs with a quest marker icon. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. This is, this is, a, I can see that being very annoying. Fix the visual issue where an unexplained white border was on the D pad icon in the puzzle mini games for temples. The fuck? The makeshift window shelf in game appearance was different from the icon. This should now be uniform. The Palcat plushie description was not translated for our non English friends. This is now fixed. Wow. Uh, the building limit tooltip was still displaying a max of 15 buildings. This has been corrected. Interesting. The mod bench action text was intersecting with icons in languages other than English. This should now look nice and neat. Fix an issue where some sound effects sounded muffled. Adjusted some of our languages so that the text should no longer overflow off of buttons. Fix the visual bug with the bellflower bed where it appeared to have too few polygons. Oh, that's interesting. Visual effects are no longer missing from auto crafters. The shiny. Oh yeah. So this bug, I noticed this bug with, um, uh, the crafting station that makes like the glass. Like if you put like the rocks in there, like the stones in there, um, it would stop glowing. Like it wasn't glowing anymore. You just saw like the, the little, the little entrance flapping but there would be no effects it was so weird um fix an issue where when interacting with multi-step cooking recipes new prompt options appeared such as chopping meat to rolling out noodles hmm. the visual prompts weren't updating to the new prompt until the player moved away and came back 
interest oh yeah 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 so this i had this problem that, that's annoying as fuck fix an issue where when trying to refill your watering can anywhere but the pond the error would display twice yeah i've noticed that uh let's see the mouse cursor was sliding out of the game window when playing in window mode it should now stay within the confines of the game good fix an issue where weekly challenges progress visuals were sorry progress visuals were temporarily disappearing when scrolling down and up in the accomplishments menu oh that's weird i didn't even notice that fix an issue where after jumping the player animation would pop while running and changing directions oh my god yes this is a big one fix an issue where the display buttons were not grayed out or removed when a tool was being used hmm interesting fix an issue where the fully built pavilion beams on players housing plots were missing texture okay when exiting the H mode of your housing plot, sometimes the blue border around your visible screen would stay. This has been corrected. I've experienced this. Let's see, fix an issue where when opening your storage, the open prompt was missing the A keybind element. Okay. Fix an issue where when mining, the cracks were not registering on the node itself. Instead, it was appearing next to the nodes. Okay, I've noticed that too. Like it'll appear on the wall sometimes. It's so weird. Uh, we were on the ground like in the wrong place it was the weirdest thing we fixed the laws of physics and these should now be properly showing on the crushed rocks good the check mark was hard to see on recipes that have already been crafted this has been adjusted for easier viewing um all right cool we helped our poor little choppas they would get stuck in a looping escape animation without anyone having scared them i've noticed that <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've noticed that happen, especially in Bahari Bay for some reason. It's really weird. Fix some visual texture bugs pl uh, plaguing the cliffs of Bahari Bay. Okay, good. Fix an issue where speaking to villagers through their door, they were floating in the void. They would now have a lovely background. <laughs> yeah, that actually happened pretty often. The housing plot chimney smoke is not, in fact, a new art installation. It should now properly look, properly look like smoke. Okay, fix an, <laughs> fixed a visual hole in the ground behind Shane's apothecary in Kilima. Hole in the ground? I don't, I don't think I've noticed that. Fix the visual bug at the cliffside of the south side of Leaphopper Hills in uh, Kilima Village. Interesting. Rocks near the decrepit docks appeared to be floating. Okay, yeah, I've seen that. It's weird. Somehow... Sunlight was appearing in the Temple of the Waves near the exit door. We've patched that roof and the sunlight will no longer trickle in. Fix the clipping issue at the rock inside. Sorry, at the rock outside of Einar's cave. What? That's such a random thing. Fix an issue where the emote wheel was incorrectly highlighted under certain circumstances. Okay. Fix an audio bug where the cinematics audio wasn't syncing properly. Okay, luckily I haven't experienced that, but I can see that being annoying. Then there's a bunch of Switch bugs that... Okay, I don't play on Switch, but I'll still go over them in case some of you do. The multiplayer fishing buff was showing in two spots at the top left of the screen after catching a fish with another player. This should now only show once. Wait, I've seen this on PC. I've seen that bug on PC, actually. That's kind of weird. Fix an issue where unwanted icons on additional stations were displayed in the cooking station menu during cooking. Okay. The, the button ZR short was being displayed in the campfire menu and could not be pressed. ZR and X were grayed out. Sorry, were not grayed out when the chat was open. They should now be grayed out properly. The button... Uh, the button prompt for safe storage on, in the autocrafters menu was missing in action, but we found her and put her back. Okay. Um, players can now read the quantity text inside item slots. Okay. Items descriptions were appearing too fast when navigating item menus. We've slowed them down. When choosing ammunition, the button prompt was showing a square surrounding a right a square surrounding a it is now properly a circle 
Fix Tamala's necklace and it should no longer jitter around her neck. I've never seen that. That's kind of funny. When entering Bahari Bay, some of the structural features in the background, such as the rock arch, should be seen popping in and could be seen popping in and out of existence. This behavior has been corrected. Uh, Sabine's portrait was missing in the inn. We've returned her to a rightful place above Azura. Oh man, that's such a heartbreaking bug. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fix an issue where the game was launched. Uh, the press any button prompt was not centered. Oh wow. Fix a visual bug where the close button was incorrectly displayed on screen when touching the screen in the map menu. Fix the visual, sorry, fix some visual issues when logging in on the Switch, okay. Miscellaneous bugs. Okay, we're almost there. <laughs> Holy crap, that was a lot of bugs. Menu elements were getting offset after moving the game window while playing in windowed mode. This behavior should be fixed. Lucky Quill quest item was pretending to be able to be placed on the housing plot by entering placement mode when selecting it. It is now fixed. What the fuck? <laughs> That's so weird. It shouldn't trigger placement mode, okay? Fix an issue where the player could become stuck and invisible when interacting with collections in uh, or the premium store when playing the heavy metal choppa game okay actually I've, I've had the problem of becoming stuck i haven't became un invisible though that's kind of weird the blanket storage basket now has a period at the end of its item description i didn't even notice that but okay fix an issue where when playing, is that really a bug or is that just a typo? <laughs> it sounds like a typo. Fix the bug where, okay, these are switch bugs. When playing the Temple of the Flames or Temple of the Waves puzzles, the selected puzzle piece was not being highlighted. Pressing the escape key on the village value screen was progressing the player to the character creation menu. Okay, this has been fixed. The creating, when creating an account, and when skipping account linking, there was a brief error message before logging into the game. This should be a smooth process now and no error messages should pop up. The functions of the A button and B button appeared to be swapped in the inventory. This is now corrected. Oh man, I can imagine the confusion with this. Jesus. <laughs> Top known issues, emerging known issues as of 3-1-2024. Uh, so that was yesterday. Small visual issue with the chart, the star chart astronomer outfit. Okay, the thumbnails of the glasses colors appear to be the same, but when selected, they will be different colors in game. Hmm. Thumbnail for Delilah's ranch outfit appears gray when missing and missing texture. The outfit itself should be fine when equipped. Some small visual issues with the timely tailor outfit where the fabric appears to be clipping. Okay, achievement progress is not current, uh, correctly persisting, and when accessing the same account on different machines, such as from PC. To pc or pc to wow pc to pc even that's interesting or pc to switch rest assured your achievements are still there even if you can't see them on a specific system okay players may see an error code 409 when adding friends to their friends list this is due to players having more than 200 friends or pending friends we're working on adjusting this error to be more communicative interesting when uh, we have a couple of bugs related to requests which is impacting our players ability to use this feature Players may be unable to request any items in the social panel. Okay. Quality and speed, speed grow fertilizer do not boost garden crops sometimes. It's a little inconsistent when this appears, so make sure you're submitting tickets if this happens to you. Okay. Uh, the dialogue is not translated to non-English languages in our new found items quests. We're working on getting this fixed as soon as possible. We are aware of two visual bugs in the premium store when trying on items. Face covers such as masks will continue to appear on your character when trying on other outfits. Oh man, that's annoying. Your character may appear with a default generic appearance when accessing the premium store. That does not reflect your com customization. You should see you should see your character properly once you exit. Okay, that's good. All right, so some takeaways. I think that probably the biggest change in this patch. I mean, all the furniture and, and wallpaper is really cool and nice and all. Like, I I love that. It's great. But as, mu as great as that is, I think the biggest thing it, it, or Okay, so there are two things. One, uh, now being able to go to Bahari Bay from your housing plot 
directly is a huge time saver. So that is amazing. It has to be probably one of the biggest quality of life buffs in, <laughs> that came out with this patch. That is freaking awesome. Um, and then now uh, that your mining nodes uh, act as forageable items, that's actually really cool. And I like that the forageable items, uh, they now pulse uh, right before they're going to, you know, vanish. So that way you're not like calling people over. Hey, there's a node here. Because like if it's po if it's if it's pulsing, you know that by the time they get there, it's going to be gone. So that's actually really, really good. There's a lot of good stuff, a lot of meat and potatoes in this patch. I, I actually I'm just kind of I'm kind of blown away. I really like um, I like that they're focusing on bugs. This I mean, this game is a lot of fun. It really is. I think it has great potential. But it's having some it's having some technical difficulties here and there. And, you know, whenever you're you're creating like an MMO, especially it's a very resource intensive project. So I can only imagine like, you know, how tough it might be to just kind of get everything done. But I, I really like that they're slowing down the patches and they're releasing things, uh, um, you know, a lot bigger and a lot more uh, bug focused or bug fix intensive especially because, um, you know, we have the Steam launch coming out on March 25th. So that's going to be uh, another really cool thing. So, yeah, um, thank you so much, guys, for uh, checking out this video. If you haven't seen it already, I have um, a bunch of Palia videos. Like I have a silent series where I just kind of play the game. Uh, you can enjoy the music, the, you know, the, the ambience and everything, you know, just kind of it's really good background noise, if anything, really fun really enjoyable game so yeah uh feel free to check that out and as always i hope you take care and sholo out